Have you heard of Huggy Wuggy? He's the evil toy in the creepy new game, Poppy Playtime. It's a game my friends and I have been very into the last few months. And I guess my parents noticed because they bought me a big plush of him for Christmas. I love the game, and I'm pretty sure I might have even mentioned wanting a plush from it. Once I had it, I don't know. I didn't want to seem unappreciative, but the thing kind of freaked me out. Seeing it in the game was one thing, but having a physical item? It was just eerier for some reason. His overly excited smile and giant gaping mouth that just hangs open as he stares at you from across the room. I couldn't handle it. First night I got it, I put it in the closet. See, my family has a tradition of giving one gift the night before Christmas, and the rest come on Christmas Day. So it was just my luck that I got the creepiest present the night before Christmas, causing me to pretty much not be able to sleep. Although after I shoved the thing in the closet behind a few things, I was able to put it out of my mind for a little bit and get some shut-eye. The real nightmare began when I went downstairs the next morning. Overjoyed, I ran over to the Christmas tree to see a pile of presents under it, which would have been amazing if I hadn't seen Huggy Wuggy sitting propped up on top of the pile, his vapid gaze burning into my mind. Good morning! I figured I'd set up your friend back under the tree since you left him in the hall last night. He was sad you forgot about him. My mom said as she brought me a stack of pancakes. I had definitely put the thing in my closet though. I remembered that distinctly. Although my little brother was known to come into my room in the morning and play with my stuff. So I figured that must have been what happened. I guess Mikey grabbed him this morning. I put him in the closet last night. Oh, spooky. My mom said in her cheesy kind of way. Anyways, I immediately took the thing up to my room and put it back in the closet inside an old shoebox, where I planned to probably never take it out again. I headed down the hall to my brother's room to ask him if he had come in and grabbed the plush that morning, but he wasn't in there. So I started looking around the entire house, but oddly Mikey was nowhere to be found. After a few minutes of searching, I got a little nervous. I mean, the kid's five, he shouldn't be that hard to find. So I got my mom and dad involved in the search, and very quickly we got pretty worried. That was when I saw Mikey through the kitchen window, standing in the backyard, by himself. He was definitely not supposed to be out there alone, and since the door was locked the night before, I don't even really know how he got out. But the weirdest thing about it was what he was carrying in his hand. It was the dead corpse of a squirrel just hanging there by its tail. My mom ran over to him and screamed when she realized what he was carrying. She swatted it out of his hand, and Mikey immediately started crying, not understanding what was going on. When we asked him what he was doing out there, he didn't really have an explanation, just that he wanted to go on an adventure. My mom immediately pulled him inside and washed his hands, scolding him emphatically. I guess it wasn't the weirdest thing he'd ever done. He was a bit mischievous. I mean, last year he somehow got my mom's car in neutral and rolled it down the street. The only thing that really got me, though, was when we were back in the living room sitting around the tree. He casually mentioned that he was finding a friend for Huggy Wuggy. That was weird for two reasons. Firstly, while he was mischievous, he wasn't one to make up things very often. And secondly, why would he think that a dead animal would be a good friend for anyone? At that point, I asked him if he had come in my room and gotten the Huggy Wuggy plush that morning. He just looked at me confused and got distracted, telling me some joke about reindeers he had heard that week in school. I changed the subject and we continued with the rest of Christmas, and had a pretty good day overall. The high point was probably that my parents had combined Mikey and my main gift that year and got us a PlayStation 5, which we'd both been wanting really badly. Since we were basically glued to the thing upon getting it, my mom said that it'd be okay for us to stay up late that night and just play it in the living room until we went to sleep. I can't describe how excited we were for this, even though later on in the night, things did start to get a bit creepy. After my parents had gone to sleep and Mikey passed out, I started imagining things when I would look at the shadows on the walls. I don't know why I always do this, but it's the worst. There was a figure in the room with us and I could have sworn it was like a clown or something. But when I turned the light on, it was a coat rack. And knowing it myself, I decided to take a quick break from gaming and go out to the kitchen to grab a snack. When I walked out of the guest room toward the kitchen, I swear I saw this little shadow on the wall. It was about two feet tall and 
had the sides of its head pointed up, just like Huggy Wuggy. I quickly turned the lights on and there was nothing there, but I could have sworn I heard something scurrying up the stairs. I grabbed a flashlight from the kitchen and started slowly going up them, pointing at every single shape that could possibly be interpreted as a figure, only nothing was there every time. I finally got to my room with only one thing on my mind. I had to check my closet to make sure Huggy Wuggy was still in there. Heading straight over to it, I opened the door and lifted up the shoebox I had put him in. That was the moment when I experienced the most terrifying thing I had ever witnessed. There was no Huggy Wuggy inside the shoebox, and instead, the dead squirrel from that morning had been stuffed inside. I screamed and dropped the box. I ran out of the closet and saw that same shadow I had seen downstairs, standing next to my bed, along with this little high-pitched sound, which was almost like gurgling. I ran out of my room and straight to my parents, telling them everything that happened. When they went into the room to check, Huggy Wuggy was back in his box, and the squirrel was gone, and suspiciously below my window. As you probably suspected, I threw the Huggy Wuggy plush away immediately after duct taping it about 50 times inside the shoebox. I wanted to burn it, but my mom wouldn't let me. My parents also forced me to make an appointment with a the therapist because they were worried I was hallucinating the entire thing. But I know that wasn't the case. I've never had any mental issues like that before, and for it to just randomly pop up now would be pretty weird. Plus, how would they explain Mikey's weird behavior too? The other thing is, even though the trash was taken yesterday, I think he may have somehow come back to our house. As I was writing this, I heard a tapping on my window at least three times, and when I look outside, there's nothing there. So if you don't hear from me again, you'll know what probably happened. Furthermore, I'd be very wary about purchasing anything related to Poppy Playtime. There's something sinister about that game, and everything related to it seems like it could be very dangerous. Hey, it's Mr. Freaky. I hope you enjoyed that original creepy pasta. I want to thank you all for another amazing year and look forward to another year of scary storytelling. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so thus far, as well as join the Discord to get involved in the community. Have a horrific Christmas, everyone, and remember to stay spooky, my friends.